Today we're going to be making mandalas. Mandala comes from the Sanskrit word meaning circle. Traditionally, mandalas are used by Hindus and Buddhists, and these circles represent the universe. It's also used a lot of times as an aid for meditation to help you really focus. Now here are a few different examples of mandalas. And today we are going to be creating a three-dimensional one. So it's going to stick out a little bit. And we're going to be using cardboard tubes. So you can use um, wrapping paper tubes, you can use toilet paper tubes, or you can use paper towel rolls. Now first we're gonna start off with a few basic designs and I'll show you how to make those. To start making these shapes, you're going to take one of your tubes and you're just going to flatten it against the table. That's going to make it easier for you to cut. Then you're going to want to cut this in equal sized pieces. If I look at mine, mine are about as thick as my finger here, maybe a little bit closer to my pinky. And I want them each to be about that size. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm gonna to try to cut straight lines. I'm just gonna cut this whole thing up. Now the first one I'm gonna show you is just this one, um, the football shaped one right here. And the reason why I'm gonna show that to you first is, is because once you cut your paper tubes after you flattened it, they're already that shape. You don't have to change it at all. So that's the easiest one of all of them. The second one I'm going to show you is this heart right here. So I'm going to pick up another one of these. I'm going to pinch the bottom. And then with my other finger on top, I'm going to press down until it's shaped like a heart, and I might even pinch it a little bit so it stays, and then round out the edges so I have a heart shape. The third one I'm going to show you is this little curly one. Now for that, I'm going to pick up one of these little football shapes here and cut right on that crease like that. And then all I'm going to do is curl from one end up. Now this is kind of tough, so it might take a little bit of practice, but you want it to be skinny curls right here. And then as it goes down, the curls will just naturally get wider and wider. And then you just let go and you're left with this nice little curl here. The next one I'm going to show you is this one right here. And that's kind of easy. You take this one, one that looks like a football here, and then all you're going to do is hold the top and the bottom, and then you're going to pinch them together and then flatten it out this way too, so that when you open it, you have these four corners, it kind of looks like a square. And then the only other thing I'm going to do is take each of these corners and pinch them and press them together. Then I'm going to do the other side too, pinch and press together. And then I have this sort of diamondy shape thing here. And then the last one I have is this one right here. And that one's just a little bit work, more work than the others. I'm going to cut at the top of one of these so it opens. And then instead of curling the way it was already going, I'm going to curl the opposite direction. So I'm going to take this one and start to curl it towards myself this way. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then I just pinch that together. So I'm left with this thing, it kind of looks like ram's horns. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one of your designs and choose a center, I guess, design to have in the middle. And then just have them all going around in a circle. This is going to be a radial pattern going around in a circle. Once you have your first design set, then you can use a different pattern to fill in the spaces and it should be in the same spot all the way around and then we're just going to keep building it until it's really large.
Once you're finished making your mandala and you like the way that it looks, then go back and check to make sure that all of your little pieces are touching. They have to be touching for the next step when we glue it together because if any pieces aren't touching, then it's not going to hold together. Now, once I make sure everything is touching, I'm going to very carefully take a little bit of glue and attach each piece together. So I'm just going to put a little tiny dot in between two pieces to hold them together. Now, as I was doing the gluing step, I sort of realized how very difficult it would be to use just a tiny bit of glue that doesn't touch the newspaper. So what you might do instead is actually just glue all the pieces down to the newspaper. And when it's dry, cut around it so that you have this beautiful little cardboard piece on top of newspaper, and then you can color it. You can color each section a different color. You can paint the whole background one color. You can sort of make it your own. And if you decide just to glue it straight to the newspaper, then it becomes a lot easier just to pull off pieces one at a time, glue the sides that touch each other, and then put it back on here. If you don't have to worry about not touching the newspaper, then it makes this a lot easier. Once your mandala dries, you have a couple different options. You can gently peel it off the newspaper or the parchment paper if you choose to use that instead and then use it for a decoration. You can paint it at this point or use it however you'd like. Or if it's stuck to the newspaper or whatever you have it on, then you can just use scissors to cut around it and then paint it however you want. Go ahead and try this out and see what kind of design you can make. 